Slack alternative, how to use Roxo for project management and communication. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use rock.so for project management and communication because nowadays everyone seems to be using Slack for their business communication and any kind of communication and it seems like Slack is the only option, but rock.so is another great application that you can use for both project management and for communication. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is just go on to rock.so and then you're just going to click on sign up over here and the best part about rock.so is that it is available for free so you don't have to worry about paying for anything for communication you can just get started with your email address so i'm just going to sign in with google and i'll get back to you guys in a second and you can also sign up with your microsoft apple or any other account that you have so just like that i have just signed up with my google id and now you can see that this is the basic workspace of rock.so or as i will call it in this video rock so you can see on your left you have your navigation plane where you have your spaces you have your tasks you have your notes below that you have your timestamps so you can set aside certain things and then later on find them over here and then you have your notifications your information and help button and now on your top you have your general settings where you can see your plans notifications contacts apps and imports now starting off with the spaces you can just click on over here and click on this plus icon and then you can add a member and create a group space so that is how you create a space so i can just add myself i will add myself to my workspace like this and I can choose to create a group workspace or a one-on-one -on -one workspace as well and I can invite them with certain limitations so I can invite someone as a guest where they can chat do calls comment on tasks and notes then I can invite them as members where they can edit create or delete tasks and notes and they could link and unlink cloud storage devices or services and then I could add them as an administrator so they could remove users messages or message uh, or, and manage other user roles so I'm going to invite myself as a member and I can click on create group group space over here and then I can choose a template so a great part about rock is that they allow you to have templates and this is one limitation of slack is that slack does not have these kinds of great templates for you to get started with so I'm just going to click on project management and I am going to add the space name to maybe um let's just say I'm doing art homework or art assignment art just art and I'm just going to click on create and now I can invite people via a link as well. So I can choose to invite people as members or guests with a link. So I can just SMS them or email them the link if I don't want to send direct emails. Now you can see that I have this all spaces section and I have this space that I just created right now. Below that, I have the basic support space and then I have my own personal space. So if I go on to my art space over here, I can just see on the top, you have all of your basic options like your chat, you have your tasks. So if you go on to tasks, you can find all tasks as a project management software would have. And this is another great feature about Rock is that you can do project management on Rock for free as well. Well, if I was to compare it to Slack, you can only do project management on Slack if you have upgraded to a premium version. Well, on Rock, you can easily do it right here on the free version that I am using. After that, you have your topics, then you have your notes, and then you have your files. So you can find all of the files that are shared within a chat over here. And then you can also link your Google Drives, your cloud, any kind of cloud storage that you have, you can add that as well. And then you have all of your uh, attachments and notes and chats in one place as well well now after that rock also gives you this little icon so this is an external space so someone outside of your organization is a part of the space i really like this feature that enables you to really make sure to monitor what you're saying or what you're doing in a certain workspace so you know that oh this is just your teammates or this has some people that are guests or people from other organizations or if it's a collaborative space this will always help you keep in mind while you're talking to someone on rock now Below that, you have your basic chat options, you have emoticons, you have your ad section, you have attachments, and then you also have these polls. So these polls enable you to ask a question and see what kind of response the team has. And this really is a great feature for collaboration on uh, Viatech. So I could add like, um, add Lisa to uh, art, uh, let's say add another member to art project 
and then I could add that and then I could type in the first option yes and then it could be no and I can choose to make this an uh, a anonymous poll as well and I can allow multiple answers if I want but I could just create an anonymous poll like that and click on create poll and now I have created this simple poll and people can choose to answer yes or no and I can receive answers easily anonymously as well to make sure that everyone does not feel like their privacy is being invaded. Now after that you have these three plus icons where you can create tasks, notes, and topics. So if there's a certain topic that needs to be discussed you can create it over here if there's a certain note that you want to place for anyone you can add it over here and a certain task as well and you can enter the task title like um art idea generation so you can add this to a certain list i can add this to the to-do list then i can add the priority as urgent then i can add a assignee so it could be my duty to find the art idea and then i can add labels as well and I can create my own labels as well and I can set due dates and then I can even add descriptions, attachments and followers of this task and I can just click on add task over here. And now you can see this has one task uploaded over here. Now, once I have started doing the task, I can just move it to the next card over here like this, like I would in any other project management software. And then once the card has been finished, I can just click and drag it over to the done section. So once it has been done, I can just move it to done and then it will disappear. The icon of one will disappear from the task section because the task has been now completed. So not only can you do all of your project management here, but you can see different views as well. So this is like a board view or a Kanban view, but if you want to view this a list you can click on over here and now you have a list view of your tasks you can also get a calendar view to see uh, when tasks are due what is upcoming and what is next up and this allows you to get a better workflow and a better uh, time management system as well now this was just how you navigate within your workspace now after your workspace you have your workspace activities as well so you can see all of the activities over here and then you have your settings for the workspace so you can choose to invite mute or pin or then you can archive the workspace or delete the workspace once a certain collaboration is completed let's say you're collaborating with a foreign company but once your deal is done or once the entire thing has been completed you can just delete or archive the chat and if you archive the chat the content will stay accessible but if you delete it then you can't access that content uh, anymore so you can choose to archive certain chats once a business deal is completed now the best part about rock is that it is available for free now you can see even on the free version you have unlimited free spaces and file storage tasks and messages members you can add as many as you want and then you have integrations with a lot of different cloud storage or uh, cloud storage devices like a google drive figma dropbox OneDrive, and then you have work across organizations for free so you can collaborate with other organizations very easily but then they also have a pro and a teams version the pro version starts at 4.99 per month for 10 10 pro spaces and the team's version starts at 4.99 per manager per month so that is one manager paying 4.99 per month and then you have everything in the free version plus 20 pro spaces where you get recurring tasks custom builds you have webhooks and zapier integrations as well while on the team versions you have team admin features where you can actually manage a team this is for people that are managing a team and this is for people that just want a better version of rock to use now you can choose to go enterprise to have mini apps customization and on-premise flexibility to host on rock so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to start off with a rock for your communication and project management make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video